Hey there and welcome to episode 6 of Paint with a Pint. I am your instructor Janet Hawkman and today we're going to be painting this moonscape or the nighttime version of a two-part series. If you saw episode 5 last week you painted this sunscape or the daytime version of the painting that we're creating today. I made both of these so that you can create these as a couple. So let's say you and your significant other want to paint two paintings together as a fun activity and memory to share, but you don't want the, the same identical paintings hanging up in your home. You can watch both episode 5 and today's episode and create um, these two paintings that work really nicely together when hung up in your home. You can also do this with a friend or maybe um, a daughter and mother activity to do together. So make sure that if you're watching today's episode that you check out last week's episode as well so that you can paint this one and the one we're doing today together. The materials that you will need for this episode are included in the description for this video below. To briefly review those, you will need a 16 by 20 inch canvas or whatever standard size that you prefer, an apron or an, and an easel to work on or just a flat surface. You will need four different size brushes, a one inch, a three quarters, a half inch, and a quarter inch brush a palette of paint, which is really simple today. We're just going to be using white, violet, blue, and black. You will need a stencil, a circular stencil of some sort, and a pencil. I'm just using the lid to a piece of Tupperware today, but you could use a plate or any circular object that you have laying around the house as your stencil for today's episode. You will also need a cup of water for rinsing out your brushes in between steps, some paper towels for drying them off in between steps, a blow dryer, which is really nice to speed up the process in between um, the different steps that we'll be doing during our painting, and going along with our paint with a pint theme, a pint of your favorite beverage, please make sure that you use this as a reminder that the whole process of painting is meant to be enjoyable, relaxing, and fun. So every time you take a sip, relax, enjoy yourself, and enjoy the process of painting. To begin today's episode, we are going to start with our largest brush, our one inch brush. And I'm going to be working on getting the entire background painted. That will include the top of the canvas, the sides of the canvas, and the bottom of the canvas. We're going to be doing two coats. So I'm going to get a first layer on my canvas, and then I'm going to come back over it with a second coat to add some texture throughout. So to begin, I'm going to take a little bit of violet and a little bit of blue, more violet than blue, and mix it in with just a little bit of white. And I'm going to start at the top of my canvas with this violet blue. And I want to make sure that I get the sides and the top of my canvas complete as well. It's a nice touch if you don't have a frame at home and you want to get this hung up on the wall as soon as you're done. So I'm going to take care of painting this top and sides of my canvas. And I want to make sure I'm doing that throughout this first coat. So starting with more of a violet sky at the top. And then as I work my way down, the sky is going to get a little bit darker and a little bit more blue. just working side to side. Now I'm going to add a little bit more blue than violet and just allow those colors to blend together.
Okay, so I'm going to give you some time to work on just getting a first coat throughout the canvas, uh, working your way from this violet to a lighter blue that you might add a little bit more white to through the, throughout the middle, into a darker blue, darker bluish violet at the bottom. So take your time getting this first coat. We want the entire canvas covered, including the sides, top, and bottom of the canvas. And when we come back, we'll do a second coat. Now that I have the first coat throughout my canvas, including the top, the bottom, and the sides. I'm gonna go with, a, I'm gonna go back into a second coat using the same exact colors, just to add some texture and touch up any areas I might not be super happy with to give an, uh, another layer of paint. So, starting with a little bit of a lighter violet, maybe a little bit of blue, and I'm just going to add some side to side brush strokes throughout to add some texture throughout this painting. So same exact process that we used in episode 5 when we did the sunscape, the daytime version of this painting. So just doing a nice second coat throughout. So allow the paint to kind of blend together, giving it that texture, that streaky effect throughout the background and working your way into a more darker blue as you work your way down the canvas. So I'm going to give you some time to do this second coat, allow it to dry completely before we move on to the moon. Now that I have two coats on the entire canvas, the background is complete, I'm going to focus on the moon. So you will need whatever you're using for your stencil, some sort of round um, object that you can use to trace, something that is round laying around your house, whether it be a lid um, to a piece of Tupperware or a paper plate or a regular plate. Anything that's round and about this size that will fit on your canvas will be useful for your stencil. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to be placing the moon on the left hand upper side part of my canvas, about two fingers away from the top and two fingers from the side. Once I have that placed where I'm happy with it, I'm going to take my pencil and just lightly trace the outline of your round object or stencil. And now I'm going to take my three quarters brush, so my second largest brush, and I'm only going to dip into white. So you'll need some white on your palette. And I'm going to begin to fill in that circle with the white paint, being very careful as I work my way around the edges. It's a good idea to rotate your canvas as you work your way around the edges. It just makes it easier for your hand placement to get that perfect circle.
Once I have the outline, then I'm just going to focus on getting the inside of the moon filled in with white paint. Then I'm going to let that first coat dry. Once that's dry, I'm going to come back with a second coat of white paint. So give, your mo give yourself a moment to let that dry and we, when we come back, we'll do a second coat. Now that we have two coats on the moon, it's time to start painting the happy trees. So I'm going to start with my smallest brush, my quarter inch brush, and I'm just going to be drawing out the lines where the trees will go to begin. So I'm going to dip that into the black paint. And starting on the right side of the canvas, I'm going to just start at the bottom, um, about an inch away from the edge of the canvas, and draw a line that goes up to about halfway then about an inch away from that line, I'll draw another line that's a little bit shorter. And in from there, maybe a little bit shorter. And then let's jump to the other side. About an inch away from the edge of the canvas, I'll draw another line. A few inches away from that, another line. Put a couple here in the middle. Now I'm going to start to fill those in. So I'm going to take my smallest brush and starting at the top, I'm just going to tap my brush at an angle to create the tree branches. And working my way down, the tree branches will get a little bit longer, a little bit wider. And so I'm going to do that with all the tops of my trees. And then in a little bit I'm going to come in and fill them in with my larger brush, my half inch brush. I can fill in those branches. So I'm just kind of getting the tops of the trees laid out, the skeleton of the trees. Okay, then I'm going to switch to my half inch brush, which is a little bit larger, and um, then I can start filling in some of these branches a little bit more. So just tapping my brush along the surface of the canvas, taking my time to fill those areas in. You want some of the branches to overlap the branches next to it.
That would be my cat saying hello. I'm learning my cats don't seem to be too camera shy. Wilson made an appearance in episode three and apparently Buddy wants to make an appearance here in this episode as well. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some time to just continue to fill those branches in, making them a little bit thicker as you work your way through each one. Just kind of take your time and fill in those branches. the trees done our painting is complete thank you so much for spending this time with me today make sure that you check out episode 5 to go along with episode 6 if you're doing this with a significant other or someone special at home you can purchase this painting on my website paintwithapint.com and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of paint with a pint